here at YCS Chicago with fellow contestant. Who are you and what deck do you use? Um, I'm Elise Davis. I got top 32 with going second, stri uh, the, the, going second Sky Striker. It's oh, really nice. difficult to say. Uh, felt like it was going to be a really good meta call for the event because we were expecting a lot more like mirror matches and uh, Altergeist, but we didn't expect nearly as many Thunder as we did, but uh, it still worked out. We still played enough to beat Thunder, but uh, I guess I could just get into it. Um, the spicy tech of the deck. Just kidding, it's a, it's, a, it's a ray. I don't know. Uh, to go with the playing like against mirror matches and Altergeist, we've made Pangatrops just because like, it helps you beat Village, and it's just a good way to like have like extra spot removal because like you know give her a big monster then clear her back row and like it, it was really nice i didn't like have too many matchups where this was like completely dead so it definitely worked out um three ash kind of have to uh two bell uh we didn't want to make too many hand traps but uh bell just seemed like the thing that had the most applications against like everything that we could because like it definitely did the best against like the top three decks being like alter guys sky striker and uh thunder so I don't know if anything else would have been stronger in the main deck for like, you know, going through a big tournament like that, but uh, that's it for the monsters. Uh, spells, we got three engage, weird. Uh, three widow anchor, weird. Uh, only two roll, didn't need more. Uh, two area zero, definitely didn't need more either. Uh, drones, eagle booster, shark cannon, and uh, afterburners. Uh, didn't feel like we need to main uh, uh, Hercules base and uh, Jamming waves, they're just not great against like everything and like uh, base is just a brick going second, but we do side them. Uh, and then play three goods. Reason why we play three goods instead of two is because we play the Dino Wrestler Field spell. We're always getting Panker Tops in the Ooh. Yeah, no, getting Panker Tops is nuts. Like this, I, I don't know, like having an extra thing to foolish that like actually gives you a progressive play instead of like doing like a Metal Fist Fusion or something when you have nothing else is really nice and Panker Tops is pretty decently strong so it was definitely worth it and like also like what's really nice is like you twin twister discard this kill two of their back row banish this from your graveyard and then you just summon a pancatrops kill a monster and then use its effect to pop glass back row like it, ugh. it's a combo and then uh metal post fusion have to uh only two twin twister since we have the pancatrops and we also have a uh, evenly match it didn't feel like it needed to be at three uh other cards are more blowouts only one terraforming. We only had room for one. We apparently really cut, like cut, cutting terraforming though. Uh, and then Arota. You need Ray. Uh, that's it for the spells. Uh, traps, three uh, impermanence you need to. And then three evenly. I would not play going second striker without this card. Oh my god. Um, yeah, it's really nice. And it even lets you help out like Thunderboards if you're able to like slow them down enough and I don't know. It has enough applications. Like it's only bad against the danger deck, but otherwise everything else it does enough too. So, all right, uh, we'll go with the extra deck next. Uh, we got three Kigari and three Shizuku. I don't have the ulti Kigaris because my collection's still locked up. It's super great. I love my life. Um, three Hayate. Uh, have to. Uh, kinda. It didn't come up as much for me, but I think you still need to play it. Uh, Clara for Altergeist for Village. I didn't play against a single Altergeist, so that was useless. Uh, Phoenix and Unicorn. Uh, Ningir Suit just for extra spot removal. And then Boral Sword. It's really good. Um, then side deck. Play three Ogre. It uh, felt like it had like, the most applications against everything for like an extra hand drop to side into. Uh, I kind of wish this was Droll or maybe even Valor, just because like those hard stop uh, the danger and then the danger thunder decks and I think that's probably what we lose to more than like any other deck where Ogre would have been better but I don't know it was still not bad uh, then we got the base and the jamming waves just for if we're playing against grindy decks it's really nice uh, only two shared ride just because uh, we need to fit in the base and it just seemed fine like I'm a, I'm a going second striker deck I don't go first much <laughs> uh, and then we got the last twin twister uh, heavy storm duster uh, I thought this was going to be better. It was okay, but like before the tournament started, right after I turned in my deck list, uh, a friend who made my deck, Justin Singh, like, he was like, oh, we should probably should have been playing Typhoon, and I'm like, couldn't have like told me this five minutes sooner, but it was still fine. It wasn't like terrible or anything. It still did what it needed to. Uh, three Summit Limit. This card was nice. Oh, my lord. Um, nice card. We, it was really good because like every time I played it against Combo and saw it, I like beat them hands down. Uh, like I didn't see it against my top 32 matchup. Weird. But uh, 
No, this card's really nice. We were playing there can be only one before, but like, especially with like the danger deck and like how danger thunder play, they don't need like multiple of each. So it's just some of them it made more sense. Um, then we got warning and judgment for when I know I'm forced to go first, or if I need to when I play against again danger or thunder because like the danger thunder deck is so threatening. Oh my lord! But uh, oh yeah, no Denko is definitely a threat. But yeah. Uh, Otherwise, that's it. I guess I got some shout-outs. Yeah, uh, uh, like I said, shout-out to Justin Singh. He made the list. Uh, makes every list I play, and, you know, it's all good. Uh, finally unbanned, but he wasn't on top today. It sucks, but, you know, he has other opportunities. Uh, shout-out to all my friends back home. Like I said, I currently own no Yu-Gi-Oh cards right now, and uh, it's currently locked up in a police station. So I would borrow every single card in here except for the Ulti Shizuku's, but... Uh, yeah, everyone back home, y'all know who you are. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It means so much. Uh, shout out to Cody Angeloff. He was trying to tell me to play Summon Limit like three seconds after Justin told me to, but he still wanted a shout out. So there you go, Cody. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, he couldn't be here either, but you know, life. Uh, shout out to uh, Alex Base Lolly. He's apparently the only reason why Sky Striker exists. But no, shut up, Alex. Just kidding. Uh, and shout out to Brian Cleanest Cat Izzy. She's really cute, and also the only reason why I topped. But uh, <laughs> otherwise, that's it. All right. Thank you. Yep. Thanks.